I'm John Ma. This is my family home. The original home that we lived in, we loved. It was a 1970s merchant builder home and it had an amazing internal courtyard garden, which we loved. It had some exposed brick, which we loved. And really we wanted a grown up version of that home. Inform were one of the only builders that were able to really understand the way our family functioned and design a home that really benefited the site and its natural attributes. At Plasia Perkins, our belief is that a good project can only be realised through a good collaboration between client, architect and builder. And the process that we've developed with Inform is an excellent example of how that works, whereby project manager representing Inform, design architect from Plasia Perkins and client are working together from the very first briefing meeting right through the project, provides the opportunity to bring the intellect of builders, detailers, estimators, as well as design architects together at the drawing board and the design table very early in the process. It allows momentum to be maintained and produces the best outcome. The objective of the home was to create and embody simplicity and lightness. The house sets about by creating a series of dynamic spaces brought to life through the use of natural materials and this intimate connection to the garden. To the south of the site, we find this two-storey brick form which contains the bedrooms, the lounge and the study whilst this lightweight timber and glass structure wraps around this brick form and contains the kitchen meals and living across the rear of the property, looking out onto the pool and entertaining areas. The design of the home explores a theory of prospect and refuge, which essentially argues that humans have a tendency to prefer environments, both with unobstructed views and areas of concealment and retreat. So it then became about finding a balance between these two notions in the design. The masonry form provides these areas of seclusion and intimacy with this theory then amplified through the selection of materials, the furniture, lighting, textures and colours, helping to focus the attention inwards. The lounge, which I believe is now affectionately referred to by the family as the blue room, has this cave-like quality. It's always been a design principle of ours to include timeless, robust materials. This house has a purity of form and a sense of solidity. The classic cubic form of the main two-storey element, we wanted to feel grounded in its place. Utilising masonry bricks helped to convey this sense of weight. We specified reclaimed brick not only for sustainable reasons, but to help break down the scale of the overall mass. And when painted white, provide a subtle textured backdrop from the surrounding vegetation. The brick form was then further articulated by the double height perforated brick pattern seen on the front facade, assisting with privacy from the street to the bedrooms, which offers filtered views to the garden and nearby trees. The relationship with the house and garden was really integral to the success of this building. One of my favourite spots is on a Friday night, we have steak night. We stand outside in front of the open fireplace that we've got and cook a steak on the coals. Another favourite part of the house for the family is the formal lounge, the blue room. In winter, particularly when we light the fire and you look out that window, and looking at the water in the pond and the lily pads, it makes me realise why we built this house to bring us all together and create these really intimate moments in this beautiful home. And that's why we're so grateful to Inform and Plasia Perkins for designing this magnificent property for the family. Obviously, a lot of our time, we're looking at drawings, we're looking at three-dimensional models, computer-generated models. We're talking to clients about abstract ideas. It's always very rewarding to visit a house a few years after it's been completed and our clients have moved in and made a home. At the end of the day, it's about great family life and a good lifestyle. When we first put the projection up of a movie on the facade, before long we had people in the neighbourhood all standing on the nature strip watching the AFL Grand Final. 
and they're all sort of getting excited about the next big event in the street where we can sit out in the street and enjoy a drink. As architects, we provide a sort of blank canvas, I believe, a bit of a backdrop for life. When our clients come and add their own influence to the canvas, it's very rewarding. 